You can create an invoice directly from within the sales order. Go to Create Invoice, and a new window will appear and ask you if you would like to create the invoice for all items or only some of them. If you choose All, QuickBooks will transfer all items into your invoice, and the entire sales order will be invoiced and closed. Now you can edit the invoice or save and close. If you choose Invoice for selected items only, QuickBooks will let you pick which ones you would like to add to the invoice. You will be able to specify how many items will ship on this particular invoice. Let's say that only the pump and the pond shipped, but none of the sprinkler heads. Choose them and click OK. QuickBooks will warn you that at least one of the items has a zero amount, which we already know because we didn't bill for the sprinkler heads. If we now open the original sales order again, you will see that QuickBooks closed down the items we already invoiced and left the sprinkler heads open. Now, if you would like to invoice the rest of the sales order, go back to Create Invoice, choose Invoice for All, and QuickBooks will again display the warning about the zero items, which is OK since we already built for some. We are only invoicing for the 15 sprinkler heads. If you now go back to the sales order, it will be marked Invoiced in Full and all of the individual items marked Closed.